aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to well, this video, which is my favorite moments in Origin Six on my channel, and um, a bit of a discla disclaimer. They definitely um, a few of these videos are before I had a capture card. Mind you though, the comedy is definitely there, but the quality might not be, you know, on par with what I'm doing today. It also shows, you know, that I actually got, you know, quite a long way since I actually started. And, uh, yeah, I really just want to showcase things that happen on this channel before I actually, of course, go to Sun and Moon, which, of course, I will start playing tomorrow. And yeah, I just really want to share this moment for you. And, of course, you knew here that this is some of the stuff you can expect on my channel and probably more. Not so much battle related, a lot of things here are just weird stuff, so enjoy. A man speaks with his back. Begin. A man speaks with his back. Hey, the stream starts soon. Nice. Ah, oh, can't wait. Sky's so nice. Oh, and Lucy is a little bitch. Oh. Oh. Okay then. This is what it all gonna boil this down to. God. Come on, Minerva. Come on. Come on, Minerva. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! What? What? What HP? <laughs> oh, come on. Let the poison kill it. Come on. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, die, die. Yes! Yes! Magmar can be interesting to deal with. And don't, don't be affected by a flame ball and be like that. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Who has flame body over vital spirit? Ray, Sinon. <laughs> Been here, and uh, I need to go back to Brugra. I was actually hoping for him going for solar beam. Because consider how much damage the fire blast did when it wasn't uh, created. So I actually lock him in here, and that was very, very important. I thought about this very long. How well a Gigalith could actually take that solar beam. I know I can't squeeze into Mantine yet again. So I bring a Vulcan here, and look at this. Look at this. Since I got that boost. I am somewhat in a bad position, I need to risk it, and like I said, it is 4 times resisted, but then again Vivian is rather frail, so I should be able to mock punch it to death here. He could see through that and switch out, he did not. Die, 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 crap. Like a hurricane. Alright, I am not Down in a good two. position. It doesn't matter if it is and if it that happened. I think I won. I really, really think I won. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Velvet! Velvet! Oh uh, yeah! Yeah! Uh! Oh yes! Finally! The curse is over! <laughs> oh my god! You wouldn't go for Taylor, would you? No, you wouldn't.
Good thing my lumber is, but damn, dude! I was sure I had the Eurosaurites. <laughs> Alright, we can deal with this. Oh, wow, that was awful. That was awful. So, I'm guessing this thing is scarfed. And I'm just about to find out. No, oh, yes! Yeah! Jordos with those nifty moves! Like a boss! Mm, Raymond is not having a good day. Not having a good day. Oh, gosh! and uh, do what I really really should have done in the beginning which was of course going for that nice play rough and look at this this rodent of a Pokemon destroying the mighty dragons yes you should fear this electric rodent make sure <laughs> so anyway Actros the choice bandit detonate the dragon killer the defeater of legendaries is here and go for that wild charge boom is freaking enough to kill a Kyogre. I never seen anything like it. I mean, first he kills off the guard jump, and now he's back again, killing the legendaries like they were nothing. Actros, <laughs> my God. I need to do something. Dedene is my only Pokemon left that can probably take a bullet punch, and I'm just gonna go for a charm because I was thinking here that all right, I might not be able to you know kill it. But I might be able to force him out to his Aegis Slash, which it, I did. And I go and go for a Nuzzle here and paralyze this thing, because the only way for me to actually be able to uh, win against this Aegis Slash is if I let him now set up a Sword Stats, which I was very sure I was going to do, and then afterwards see if he attacked me and get fully paralyzed so he uh, is out of his stance, and then let my Pidgeot hit him. That was my only, only entry to do here and he gets full paralyzed first turn I was thinking here alright I'm off the hook but no he goes for a shadow sneak pretty much I think I had him stressed out so much that he forgot about my typing and just did a very very bad move and obviously it was bad enough for him to lose his Aegis Slash right there and then but then again I can't do anything with my Mega Pedriot against this Mega Metagross so I'm still in a very very rough shape because Dedene, like I said, has no real attacking move. We got Super Fang to be able to take a lot of the damage. But after that, I only got Nuzzle as an attacking move. So my way to go here was to get Charm up. And uh, yeah, he goes for the Sand Headbutt. And um, it is almost in the range of taking me out. So I gotta go for a Cycle, getting back my Citrus Berry. And he goes for Meteor Mash. And ooh, I barely lived that. And you know, the Citrus is kicking in. Together, of course, with the Sheik Poach, and uh, I was thinking right here and then, alright, I can't really let him uh, get an attack boost, so I'm just going to go for a Nuzzle, and uh, I do fully paralyze him here, which means that I, I won. Yes, I did. It, it is amazing. It, it's incredible. It is it is so cool that I actually did it. He killed a Mega Metagross. Like, what? How? What's up guys, and welcome to our TBU game of, of course, our quarterfinals against Sister Awesome. I've actually been waiting quite a while. Uh, it has some issues getting, so, yeah, been holding off on that, though, obviously we're actually hitting it off. His team is ready, I am kind of ready, getting ready here. <laughs> really, that's all we need, you know, the prep work is I here. Right prepare. Yeah, and sc Scum Hinder. Yeah, Ready Rock. Awesome name. It wasn't born already. Alright, we draw it right away. Huh. It's beginning. It freaking starts.
So here comes the Glister, I believe. King Lard. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, we're pretty much lost in this second, right? And this! Uh, what's he doing? Is to go really even further beyond! There we go. 